On Friday the 19th of November, Balbir Singh brings his dance company to the assembly rooms to perform Love and Spice. It's 7 o'clock, Friday the 19th of November. For tickets, email info at champltd.org. Telephone 07884-933788. Love and Spice combines different art forms and cultural traditions in surprisingly delicious ways, blending Kartik dance and live music with a chef covering live on stage. This is a truly multicultural feast for all the senses. I had a chat with Balbir Singh about the show and his dance company. Yeah, because we're doing in November, we're doing what, 11 shows and it's the worst two, three, four, five, six. It's the seventh uh, of the 11 uh, that we're performing. So I, I don't have to mention the others. They, they are quite spread out. Right. Uh, all the way from Cumbria to kind of Humber Way. So and, and north as well. So, yes. Yeah. Is it a new show? No, not a new one. The, we've had it a few years now. The, it, it was made as part of the rural touring circuit. Uh, initially when we had seven rural touring promoters producers come together with arts council england funding and with the we gave them a, a menu pick a mix menu as to what might work whether they wanted something sport based uh, classical indian dance based classical indian music based more contemporary based the what the balance will be or a, a new work so uh, one of the venues op op opted for this and so so then we made it it was just a concept up to that point uh, and then since then it's evolved uh, and we've performed it's a it's a good crowd pleaser the we feed the audience as well the it's about a couple losing sense of smell and taste and how do they look back on their lives try and revive those senses and with the help of indian gods so and there's live music uh, and there's various spices and their healing properties and they have a game of spice chess so i'm probably answering all the questions now yes, I? It won't yes. be as good on it when That's you record perfect. yeah yeah you say the audience get fed as well yeah we the, we have a someone cooking on stage as part of it in terms of creating aromas and spices and smells to whet their appetites and, and as part of it we we give the audience a meal as well yeah, a vegetarian indian meal yeah so that's certainly audience participation. Yeah, yeah, they better enjoy it. Yeah, we've got a lot of effort. No, no, it's kind of, yeah, it is nice to kind of bring people together through food in that sense, uh, mm. which is really nice. And, and they we kind of wet all their appetites in terms of just reminding them, especially in present times of COVID, some people have lost sense of smell and taste mm. in, in that sense. Uh, so, so yes, so it's, it's, it's a, it's a nice uh, uh, kind of a popular show, yeah. yeah. And doing the rounds again. We had quite a few few shows pre-pandemic cancelled, and so it's great to be picking back up now. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's how I and mean, how have you got through sort of like the um, pandemic? There, we we stayed open during the pandemic. We didn't close. Mm -hmm. They talk about the importance of the arts to connect with audiences, and we felt that was the time more than ever. We needed to value and, and, and support our audience through the art with everything people were going. So we we found windows of opportunity when things did open in terms of outdoor theatres and performance as right. such. So we presented in, in large historic gardens and, and museums in their outdoor spaces. Uh, in between, uh, we rehearsed on large football pitches and we did quite a bit of digital as well, creating new digital content, digital teaching online, rehearsing material digitally uh, as well and creating, but the live experience is what we're about. And so yeah. digital was okay uh, as something as a means uh, to an end in, in the moment, but it was connecting with those audiences. So in, in, in various ways, and we worked with some care homes as well with things that there were where no, there was no contact with them. And so the idea was to do a virtual walk for them in terms right. of local parks to where they were based in Leeds. Uh, and we got that from their memories of walking. And so when we went into these outdoor spaces, the artists were seeing the parks, the green spaces through the memories of the care home residents. And so we put that together uh, and edited and still are doing some editing uh, as films to gift back to the individual care homes as their virtual walks. And how long has your company been going? You 
so how long how long how long <laughs> forever it feels like forever <laughs> no, well i think 20 years now actually right, when i right. first started out with no idea what i was doing and uh, i still feel like that sometimes <laughs> to be honest but, uh, but it's it, we, we, we have a long good track record a lot of growth for myself uh, in terms of being in charge of the company uh, uh, the artistic vision and just growing artistically finding opportunities we're very fleet of foot responsive and fast paced and organic and yeah, yeah, yeah. in themes and ideas and we're good at partnership building as well so been going over 20 years we the core of the work is classical north indian dance katak with live music and contemporary dance and then we do a lot of various strands to the company's works the spot and art based work as one strand bringing together originally in 2012 for the cultural olympiad synchronized swimming and dance nice. performing in in its swimming pools and then there was the Tour de Yorkshire. So we did some work around the cycling, the round yeah. of 12, the piece was called. And from that, went on to work with the BMX Flatland Champion and made a piece called Champion of the Flatlands for outdoor festivals. That performed rurally as well. And then the World of Rugby, there was some of the World, Cup, World Rugby League matches were hosted in Leeds. And so we yeah. made a piece called Full Contact in terms of the break from rugby union and kind of the upper body strength and mining and, and that history. And then we went on to make a sister piece called The Strategists about female rugby players and their mindset and approach to playing the game. And a couple of shows on ice, uh, on ice, ice rinks yeah. with some ITV champions on ice involved in that as well. The one to create a version of Swan Lake called Peacock Lake, which was my version of Swan Lake. The <laughs> peacocks take over the lake, defeat the swans. And then we, uh, ice show dedicated to John Curry, who won the Olympic gold in 1974 uh, yeah. for, for Great Britain. And so we brought a number of people together to look at his choreography and, and, and put that together into a performance piece. So there's that. So yeah, so spot on that. And then there's the classical uh, revisited, taking classical Indian dance, we're placing it in different settings and then different approaches to it. So that we've taken, there's a tale to do with the elephant headed God called Ganesh. And the, he has a broken tusk, which he got by throwing his, breaking his tusk and throwing it at the moon. And then the moon shattered into all, all his various cycles. So there was a swimming pool in Coventry, which was, which is the 2021 city of culture. Uh, and they wanted me to do something to open the festival with this moon that was installed by, by Luke Jerram in, in the swimming pool, which is nice. So we took that tale and we modernized it with dancers, synchronized swimmers and musicians. So that's taking a classical tale, but modernizing as one example of the classical revisited. And then the celebrating age, which is older performers, mainly in the seventies, septuagenarians, the, so we've done a lot of work with them in the past and we I did a piece commissioned by South Bank called Learning to Dance with two 75 plus year olds, uh, Namron MBE, who's the first black dancer to be employed by a contemporary dance company in the 70s nice. in the UK nice. and, and Guru Pratap Pawar, who also has an MBE uh, who has performed throughout the world. Uh, as well so I did a piece with the two of them it could have been quite epic on scale uh, but I had to focus on the dance and their relationship with it and then this December we're doing a new piece called the wise ones loosely on the nativity but not in terms of the three wise men uh, so it's called the three wise ones those two 75 plus and then a female uh, dancer as well uh, called Bishaka Saka from Liverpool so I have these three wise ones which is about wisdom <laughs> what, what is it how you acquire it how you apply it how you pass it on to other generations so so celebrating age and then there's an appetite for dance which is about creating new audiences for dance and love and spice is an example of that how you engage hopefully audiences that are new to the arts to uh, or to Indian dance and music uh, and, and bring them in and then cross migrate to other performance work as well so so building audiences and then taking them on a journey in terms of creating appetite for dance so those are loosely the four strands of work and then the working care homes educational settings and we're just about to start off on a project to do with chronic pain, working with the health sector as well. Nice. So so we stay busy. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Have you performed in Barton before? No, not in Barton before. I don't think. I don't think. I don't think we may have. I'm not sure. I don't want to get into trouble here with, with, with Blaze and Live Links. Ellen, have we performed there before? It does ring a bell, actually. I think we have. If it's the venue, I think it is, which is near a shopping centre. 
uh, and it's got a bar in it as well. We have, I think, performed <laughs> in it yeah. the, a few few years back. It, we have kind of performed that way before. I'm just bringing it up on the screen to see what it looks like. <laughs> I should do my homework. <laughs> <laughs> I think we have actually. Yes, yes, we've right. performed there before. Yeah, yeah, a few years back. Yeah, we took some work there. Painting the Indian Gods, I think, was the piece that we took there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. So just a reminder, Love and Spice is on at the Assembly Rooms Barton on Humber, Friday the 19th of November at 7 o'clock. Tickets, info at champltd.org. Telephone number 07884 933 788.